Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I have for you 10 dollar store products. So we're trying all kinds of things today. We're trying some face stuff, we're trying some tongue stuff, we're trying some soda pop stuff, I think. We're trying some laundry things, we're trying some compression things, and some bathroom things. All kinds of stuff today. Number one, it's like a hanging thing to dry your clothes. I thought, ooh, that would be good for like when you go on a cruise and you know, you have like your wet swimsuits. You can leave them in your bathroom drying overnight with one of these. That way they won't get funky and smell like mildew in the bathroom because you just left them on a pile on the floor. That's nasty. Don't you ever do that. If you accidentally do something like that, go ahead and just throw that swimsuit away. That is, gr oh my God, I would have a panic attack. They'd have to fly me the fuck off that boat because <laughs> I done lost my mind. Are you crazy? Don't put nothing on the floor. Don't touch the walls. Don't touch anything. <laughs> you can hang it up like this and then just let your swimsuit dry out for the next day. Or you should bring a couple of swimsuits. Like don't bring one damn swimsuit, but this is still good. That way it won't get funky, right? For $1.50, I'm saying shove it into your suitcase and then leave it for the room steward if you don't wanna bring it back. See, it's one of those things where it's so cheap, you're just like, eh, just leave it. They can have it. Let's see. <laughs> I thought this was a brilliant idea. I'm actually going to be doing this for real because I love cruising. That's my favorite thing. Ooh, look at it. See, there's a hook for everybody in the family. Swimsuit, underwear, bras, panties. That's why I brought these because I wanna hang them so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But how cute is that, right? It's not gonna take up a lot of room in your suitcase. Ta-da, you see? So on a cruise ship, they give you a little like string thing in the shower that you can hang stuff on. You just hook this on there. That's a cruising pro tip right there for you. Let's take out some of these undies. Don't ask me why I still have these in case of an emergency. They're in my prepping bag, doomsday. You know, we haven't talked about that in a minute, huh? We still gotta get ready. Look how cute those are. These are disposable men's underwear. You're gonna hang your wet undies. I can't take credit for this one. I may have seen this on Pinterest or something. It's plastic, okay? It's not the best quality, but for $1.50, who gives a damn? You're on vacation and you might leave it behind, so who cares? It's just so that you can dry your stuff and it's not touching the nasty ass walls or the floor. Don't ever put nothing on the floor. Like don't even let your feet touch the floor. Like that's how serious I am. Here's another pro tip. Go to the dollar store and buy yourself house slippers. They have them there for a dollar. That way you're never touching the floor on a cruise ship. That's what I do. And then I just throw them away because they're $1. I don't pack them back up. But while I'm on that cruise, I'm either wearing flip flops or my house shoes from the dollar store. This is why we love the dollar store. What do you guys think about this? I think it's genius. And you could really hang this anywhere, huh? Even in your like laundry room for things that you don't want to put this multi-purpose, that's what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna use it for my cruise. I love it and I think it's totally worth $1.50. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. You should get some. If you cruise, this is a necessity. Number two, a tube squeezer to squeeze all the toothpaste out of your tube. And this is like a charcoal toothpaste that I bought on Amazon because it had like 27,000 reviews, all five stars. Not really that much, but a couple thousand. I think this shit's fake. Maybe, I don't know, allegedly. Something seemed fishy to me about those damn reviews because I bought it and this shit, it's nothing. Makes your toothbrush nasty and it doesn't do anything to your teeth. It's supposed to be like teeth whitening and removes bad breath and all toothpaste do that. Don't believe the hype. Ooh, it even has a sucky cup. A sucky cup, a suction thing. <laughs> so you can hang it like where? Like on your wall? You don't want to put that. You don't want to put that on your mirror. That's tacky. So you got to remove the cap off one end. But I oh, can't. Oh, there. <laughs> got it. You just have to pull it off. You don't have to twist. It's not screwed on. You just pop it off like that. Okay, got it. You have to line the inside tube with the outside tube so that you can squeeze this guy in there. You slip it in there like that, right? Oh, you see it? Look, 
it goes right in there like that oh, I got it just like that let's see what it looks like with the hook tacky don't do that I mean it's, I guess it's not too tacky huh because then you can just pop it off like that it would be good on a cruise actually because that way everybody's not asking you where the hell the toothpaste is you're like right there in your fucking face look with your eyes Turn the handle to squeeze the tube. I'm gonna test it first without opening it. Let's see. Well, it fell out. Twist. <gasps> it's going in. Okay, I gotta open it because it's about to explode. I like this, look. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab it with my toothbrush. Now, a warning about this type of toothpaste, these charcoal toothpaste, it will ruin your brush. Just be warned if you do want to try one of these one day. Twist it. <gasps> You're not gonna waste any toothpaste. Okay, but wait, it lost its grip. Look, that sucks. It fell out of the little slot. Let's line it up again. You don't have to open it. Okay, and then just start twisting. Turn it, let's see. <gasps> Look, there it is. Get it, get it. I got it. I think once you get it in a full turn where the tube is completely in there, it shouldn't fall out, I think. <gasps> Toothpaste is coming from the inside now. The tube exploded in there. Don't buy this toothpaste. I mean, I don't know if it's the product or the toothpaste or what, but open it. Oh. It tore the actual tube of toothpaste. I am somewhat impressed with this little thing. So I'm gonna give the toothpaste squeezer three Vivian heads. Number three. It is a cold wrap. The lady at the Japanese dollar store told me that these are used for like when you have an ache or a pain on your, on your elbow or on your knee or any part of your body that you can wrap. You just open it up, wrap yourself up nice and snug, and this thing is gonna cool you down. No refrigeration is needed. The lady did tell me there's only one in here and is not reusable. The cooling time is two hours it does have menthol in it 15 minutes for it to get to complete coolness -ness. it is recommended to inspect the affected body part every 15 minutes why if any discoloration or redness occurs discontinue treatment discoloration what the hell don't don't get offended i was gonna say it stinks like grandpa <laughs> Grandpas don't unsubscribe. It's a sweet grandpa smell, like menthol. <laughs> and grandma, but really, I just think of grandpa. Ooh, yeah, ooh, it's wet. Is it supposed to be wet? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't smell horrible. My sinus has just cleared up. I didn't realize it was gonna be wet. I thought it was just like, cool. You know, like those warm packs. Once you break the seal, it turns warm. I thought this was gonna be like, I broke the seal, now it's warm. But it is legit like dripping wet. <laughs> okay. I will wrap it around my elbow. If your elbow is hurting, you're not gonna care. You're gonna want it to be wet. Okay, nice and tight now. 15 minutes, this thing should get to ultimate coolness. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I wonder why it's wet. Is that the menthol? Is that what that is? Okay. Bam. Ha ha. I'm a nurse now. I'm opening up one of those ER emergency clinics. I'll be your nurse. This is all I'm certified to put on you. One of these. Then I'm going to send you home with a $5,000 bill. I'm going to leave it on now for 15 minutes and we're going to come back to it. And I'm going to tell you if I'm cold. Does Walmart have something like this for $1.50? I bet they don't. I bet they... Okay, I'm dripping. <laughs> I can't be dripping all over the place now. All the liquid is gathering to one little spot there. You might have to wrap your arm in like a plastic bag to wear this because it's gonna drip. Don't go to the store with this on. We're gonna think like, what the fuck, your elbow's leaking, ma'am. <laughs> Full on got my wrap on from the dollar store. Don't hate, why are you hating? Number four. This one is for your hand. It looks just like a regular freaking glove. It's for people who have like muscle problems maybe in their hands, maybe arthritis, carpal tunnel, maybe your hands from typing too much, they start to hurt at the end of the day, right? It is made out of a warm, gentle material. 
this part of my body is going to be cold. This part of my body is going to be hot. This is feeling really nice. I hope this feels good too. We're going to cure all of your aches and pains from the Japanese dollar store for about seven bucks. I like the smell of that menthol. It smells really nice actually. <laughs> I might be attracted to grandpa now. Does this smell? No. Let's see. What is this? <laughs> What is this? It is made out of a unique ceramic compound fabric that emits energy. Okay, no instructions, no power button, nothing. How do we know this thing's working? <laughs> Ooh, it feels nice. Yeah, when it starts to get cold, you can have one of these warming gloves inside of your glove. That's what I would do. I don't feel shit. It just feels like a regular, what? Come on now, y'all are tricking me. Do I have to insert one of those warming things in there? Okay, we're just gonna leave it on. Number five. Oh, my dreams are coming true. All my dreams are coming true. <laughs> you guys know my obsession with Q-tips and tickling my ear. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> These from the Japanese dollar store are wet. They come pre-wet. Like licking your finger and it's like that. That's what it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> I just licked my finger and it tasted like menthol. Am I gonna die? <laughs> Is Should I call poison control or something? Call poison control if I faint. <laughs> I was trying to see if there was menthol on my finger. <laughs> these, like I was saying before I disturbed myself, is these are wet. Look at this. Bam. They come individually sealed and they're moist. <laughs> they come moist for you already, so you can insert them right into your ear. Vivian, what the hell are you talking about? Look at that. You get a gazillion of them. Not really. You get 30. For $1.50? I can't get anything at Walmart for $1.50. You don't believe me? Go to Walmart. Point out all the dollar stuff. On the packaging, they have two little blue arrows pointing in opposite directions so that you can just pull it apart, I guess, to open it. Let's open it. Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna do that. My, ooh, hello. <laughs> hello, sexy. <laughs> Are you ready for me? Oh my God, look at it. Why do I smell everything? It doesn't smell like anything. It's that way, oh, it's nice and cold. <laughs> like I'm getting the chills over here on this side of my butt. Nothing's happening here. Come on now, do I gotta rub you? Rub it real good. Get you nice and warm. Ooh, it is wet. It's not like wet, wet. It's the perfect amount of moisture. Don't be alarmed by my movements. Oh my God, it's perfect. Oh Lord, <laughs> don't do this. this is <laughs> oh This is not recommended. Doctors don't like for you to stick shit in your ears. It's everything you can imagine. <laughs> Give me a minute, hold on. <laughs> You guys have no fucking idea. <laughs> okay, oh. That was everything I ever dreamt about right there. <laughs> I'm gonna open another one for my second ear. And let me tell you that I'm gonna order these by the case. I'm gonna have to clean out my ears now at least four times a day. Breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner. <laughs> Um, what? <laughs> I can't talk right now. <laughs> Please don't do this and hurt yourself. I'm a profession. <laughs> Why have I not seen these at Walmart? Why you guys not told me about wet Q-tips? I'm gonna stop telling y'all about all my good finds. Y'all are not telling me about these finds. Did you know about these? Tell me in the comments down below so I can block your ass for not sharing when I share everything with you guys. This is my favorite ear, because it's like, I get it so good. <laughs> Why does this feel so, don't talk to me right now. You shouldn't do this, it's not recommended. Doctors don't like it, but I love it. <laughs> this thing is doing all kinds of favors for me over here. Giving me goosebumps. This is doing nothing, but I was trying to rub it a second ago to see if it needed some assistance, but it doesn't. It didn't say that in the packaging. I feel a little bit of warmth, but Shit, any sock with the toes cut off would do this. So I'm gonna give the wet Q-tips 10 Vivian heads. I don't do 10, but if I did, I would. That's how good they are. 
<laughs> I'm gonna give it five Vivian heads, number six. I'm kind of afraid to open this one because it's for soda pop. It is so that your soda pop doesn't lose its fizz. I think you have to pump it. <laughs> Why can't I just do a normal fucking review? Why do all my reviews gotta take sharp left turns? I don't know. It's your dirty mind, not mine. The thing is, I'm nervous about the pumping. I already said that and I already did the hand gesture, but I haven't stopped doing it because I have to demonstrate <laughs> before I put this in because I'm scared. What if it blows up? Isn't that dangerous to pump soda? Remember the clutch bomb that I made? Ooh, I should wash it, huh? Do I pump it? Ooh, okay, you pull it out first, Vivian. Why are all my videos like this? It's telling you to remove the cap from your soda pop. Number two is you're gonna put this on there, screw it on, gently move the pump to create pressure. That's where I'm scared. Detach the pump, Le what? It's telling me to put this on, screw it. <laughs> Fuck. Not one PG comment can come out of my mouth, huh? You're gonna screw this on top of the soda pop. This side of my body is like tingling. <laughs> You're gonna pump away, pump it up, get it ready. <laughs> get it ready to store. Then once you pump it, however long you need to pump, you're gonna take the pump off, use it for other things, <laughs> and then you just leave this on like that. That is weird. And then this is your new cap, is what they're saying. Okay, let me open it, gentle. It didn't go pssss. Is my shit old? Okay, now you're gonna pump it up. One, two, three, go. Okay, maybe I have to hold it like this. I don't know when to stop. What if this thing explodes? Let's see. Hut. After that clutch bomb that I made, I'm so nervous about stuff, but look at me, I'm still pumping. Like, I'm not scared that I'm making a bomb. <laughs> How do you know when to stop pumping? Should my water be going up like that? Is my water moving? I know it's moving, but I'm talking about, is it moving up? Am I sucking it? <gasps> Wait a minute. I'm gonna have to watch the video back. You think that's what it's doing? Let's try to open it. <laughs> now I'm scared. One, two, three, go. Oh, did the water go down? Did you guys notice? See, the problem is you gotta tell me how many strokes, folks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I need to know, okay, Vivian, 10 pumps and then stop. Otherwise, I'll be doing this forever, all night, pumping it up. So I'm gonna get a fresh soda pop. I'm gonna pump it up, put it in the fridge, and in a couple days, I'm gonna update you guys on my Facebook page. So follow me on Facebook. I wonder if it'll spill. So far from what I've seen and experience with it, I like it. I don't know if it works yet, but I'm gonna give the soda pump three Vivian heads. If it works, I might add a Vivian head. If it doesn't work, I might take a Vivian head off. Find out on my Facebook page. Number seven. Facial strips, these are for your forehead and your chin. I also have under eye pads, some nose strips. Let's start with the eye patches. Takes your puffiness out. How many, ooh, I've seen these guys on like Amazon for more than $1.50. It is for firming, rejuvenation, and moisturizing. Yes, leave the patches on for 20 to 25 minutes. Oh my good. Here's a pro tip. Put these in the refrigerator. Oh, they're gonna feel so nice. Like this, it feels like that. Oh, it's gonna feel like menthol. Is that, am I saying that right? You guys know I mispronounce everything. Some of you guys are just like out of control. Stay out of my comments. You're so annoying. Ooh, they feel like jelly. I wanna smell them. Is that weird? They don't smell like anything. <laughs> That's what they look like. They're nice and moist. <laughs> Everything today has been wet and moist. Girl, stop it. Look, <laughs> they feel like a jellyfish. Okay, ready? There you go. Okay, there's one. Let's put on the second one. 
nice and they weren't even in the refrigerator and they have a nice cooling feeling to them number eight let's try this one it's also going to go on my face it's going to go on my chin and on my forehead oh i feel like these are slipping when i'm talking tell me if they slipped on my face <laughs> i don't know why i get so excited i love this kind of stuff you guys i only got one i was thinking i would get two in each of these little packies no i guess you just get one and you can either put it on your forehead or on your chin what i know someone in my comments is already mentioning that you should have a clean face and have no makeup on i'm filming a video i've never used a forehead or chin strip before so i'm kind of excited to see what kind of gunk we're going to get off okay if you're going to use it for your chin you're going to use it like this if you're going to use it for your forehead you're also going to use it like this okay that's what that looks like now let's do the forehead dry your hands so it doesn't stick to your hands oh man the chin one's kind of moving okay this one right there what kind of gunk can you get from your forehead and your chin right i don't know we're about to find out what kind of shit i get off number nine just the traditional no strips i thought i said green tea but it doesn't <laughs> i was gonna say green tea but it's not green tea deep clean no strip it will unclog pores, pull out oil, and blackheads. This one, I know how to use, but it's green. I'm excited. Let's see. What? Why does it say? That's not green. I wanted it to be green like this. $1.50, Vivian. Remind yourself. My eye things are moving because I'm talking, okay? Not that they're bad. It's just I'm yapping. So my cheeks are moving. So it's moving these things. Okay, so let's wet my nose really good. Mm, it smells nice. This is what a Sunday spa day looks like at my house, right here. <laughs> All the players are in their positions. Get to work, guys. We'll check back with you in about 10 minutes. Number 10 is a tongue cleaner. I have never used anything like this. It's kind of weird. I just use my toothbrush, but they actually sell tongue cleaners. Do you need an extra little gadget thing for your tongue? Will your toothbrush not do the same thing? Is this one completely unnecessary? It might be. For $1.50, I thought, fuck it, you're getting two. I don't need instructions to clean my tongue, right? Okay. What's on the other side to scrape? But like, that's gross. That's too much. Too much. We're family, but fuck. I can't be showing you all my shit. Gently clean your tongue for fresh breath. Ooh, they actually feel really nice. They're really soft. It's now washed. Let's clean my tongue. That's so gross, but that's what we're gonna do. Ah, I don't get it. You have to clean your tongue like this with this? Will my toothbrush not do this? Do I have some uh, dental hygienist out there? Not really sure what the other side does, but we'll also use it. Ugh. Feels like you're raking your tongue. And then the brush side feels like you're brushing your hair, but you're brushing your tongue. I guess this is better than a toothbrush because the area is wider, right? You're getting more area than with a little toothbrush. If you use one of these tongue cleaning things, let me know in the comments. I'm curious to see how many people actually use this or just use their damn toothbrush. It's not bad, I guess, for $1.50, right? Can I use it on my teeth? Ew. Why not? Multi-purpose. I'm slobbering on my tongue. <laughs> Let's put that one away. I just slobbered all over it. So I'm going to give the tongue brush cleaner rake thing three Vivian heads. I don't really know that it's a necessity, you know? These are necessities. We got to keep this sexy. You got to keep your breath fresh, but you could do it with your toothbrush. Can't you? That's what I do. I might be missing out extra freshness <laughs> with that. Maybe? Tell me. Now, let me tell you about this thing nothing happened nothing's warm and fuzzy nothing it's just the sock from their sock section that they have cut the fingertips off and made you a thumb hole and bam sold it to you because i don't feel anything there's not a seal to break for it to start getting warm nothing i thought by putting it on and my own body heat would start the fires but that didn't happen so i'm gonna give the hand warmer that does not warm up one vivian head for my cool wrap here I actually like it a lot. It has kept me nice and cool and giving me tingles and goosebumps this entire video. It does strip a little bit, so as soon as you put it on, don't rush out the door because you're going to leave a wet spot everywhere you go. Wait for it or even like pat the bottom down to grab all the moisture out of there. But for $1.50, 
it's a good deal and it's going to give you nice cool tingling feelings wherever you wrap it on mm -hmm. don't get any ideas now i don't know menthol can be put everywhere because i know what you're thinking a little pro tip put these in the freezer or maybe not in the freezer because it's going to turn into ice maybe this menthol turn into i don't know refrigerator freezer maybe but for sure in the refrigerator so it's like nice and cold no frostbite no i don't think so i don't know i'm gonna give the cold wrap five vivian heads i look younger already do you guys recognize me ah makeup is the only thing i grabbed there's nothing else on here do you guys use a chin strip thing like this Oh, wait a second. That one grabbed some stuff. I guess I'm adding the forehead strip. Who knew? Did you know? You guys are not sharing. I'm sharing all my shit. Y'all don't share with me. One, two, three, go. Uh -huh. uh. This is my favorite part, right? Is to see the shit that came off your nose. The nose strips, I'm going to give three Vivian heads. For the gold under eye pads, I'm going to give four Vivian heads. The forehead and chin strips, I'm going to give two Vivian heads. All right, you guys. So that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool dollar store product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.